Yeah. Okay. So let's get started with our, our warm up, our Pilates inspired warm up. So we're just going to just take over to one from one side to the other. I'm trying to get it so it, no, it doesn't work that way. Okay, we'll stay in the middle. <laughs> And then what we do now is we'll just take it from side to side. And then as you come down, just bend the knee slightly as you come across to each side. Right, just keep going with that for a second. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to just bring the elbows in now. So we want to work a little bit with the shoulders. So we're just taking the elbow back. Okay, and then just bring the arms down. We're just going to just lift each heel now. So what we call our pedals, something like that. So as, as for props for tonight, I think we're just going to use um, just our blocks if you've got them for under your head when we're down on the floor. Apart from that, we're not going to use any props. Keep it simple. Okay, so we're going to just bring the feet down, bring the heels down now. We take the feet out quite wide. We're going to just start to bend the knees so just go quite quite light at the moment but then what you want to do is just push the bottom behind a little bit as you bend the knee so <laughs> crack and then we'll slow it down a bit so what we're doing is we're puff pushing your bottom behind, keeping a nice flat back. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the elbow, take the arms in, including the elbows. stretch so let's take the arms let's take them to in the other direction we're just doing half an hour tonight express pilates <laughs> i've just put them on my youtube today i've put a four minute app video which is just um a cut of one of my videos I've just got that one as a premiere. Okay, last one. Bring the arms down. Bring the feet back in. Okay, so we're going to roll the shoulders. Then we're going to take the arms out in front. We're going to squeeze the shoulders forwards and backwards. <laughs> And then we're going to bring those arms down and we're going to take one arm forward and the other one back. So as I do that, I'm going to start to push my bottom away, pulling through the abdominals. So the rest of me is nice and stable. My, my hips are stable. I'm going to push down to the heels a little bit. And then bring the arms down, come back up. And then we're going to 
Take the hands together, stretch the fingers, take it up, take it out. And then forwards again and stretch. This time we're going to hold when we take it up. Take it just slightly over to one side, putting in through the abdominals, bring it back up over to the other side, just gently. Bring it back up and then just bring the arms out. Feel that in your shoulders. So give that a good, a good couple of rolls. And then we're going to take the arms back out in front and just take the elbow behind. So we've got a little bit of a twist going on in the waist, but we're keeping the hips facing forwards. We've got two more to do. Then bringing the arms down. Ooh. Roll the shoulders again. Feel that. <laughs> okay. Next thing, we could do a little bit of lower body. So it's quite nice to wake, wake those glutes up. So you're going to take one leg out to the side and you do a kind of slight lean. So you've got the weight into this foot stabiliser and you're just going to squeeze and release. So we're not doing this, we're keeping the body stable and we're squeezing into your bottom right on that side, glute muscle, your medius, glute medius. Sometimes your body wants to go back over. Last one. Bring that back in, walk it out for a second. Take it over to the other side. Waking up those glutes. I think we've got one left to do. How does that feel? Let's just walk it out, just lift the feet. And actually just thinking about that, what we could do is we can just go take one foot up and we're just going to say, you can either just tap from the knee or tap to the toes or well, to the feet. So abdominals are contracting as you do that. So again, you can feel that, can't you, in your glutes. <laughs> And then you're going to take it behind, so you're going to go like this, crisscross. <laughs> Get uncoordinated now. Last one. Okay, then I was thinking of neck because, I don't know about you, but I've been sitting at my desk and standing at my desk a bit today, or well, not just a bit, the whole day. And <laughs> I went for a walk at lunchtime and I really felt like my neck was forward. So let's just do our little exercise that helps encourage the neck back. So we're going to push back into the palms and just think about squeeze um, chin slightly towards the chest. So you just do squeezes for a few seconds or whatever feels good for you. It does feel good. We'll do one more. And then release. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, so just a little bit more for the head, head and neck. So we're going to relax those shoulders down, down the back. We're going to take the head from one side. Then we're going to take it back into the middle. Then we're going to take it to the other side, back into the middle, back to the first side, into the middle, over to the other side, and back into the middle. Okay, so a nice quick warm up, that will do. So let's bring, um, bring yourselves down 
onto your mats. So no props, no, no extras today needed. Let's bring this down. I was gonna light, light my candle, <laughs> and then I just ran out of time. Just adjust this so it, we can come all the way down on that one. And down on this one. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so it's all ad hoc tonight, so we're just doing whatever comes to my mind. <laughs> Christmas Express, do whatever you want to do. Pilates, right. Okay, so coming down onto your backs. Okay, good. Right, just get yourselves comfortable. Make sure that you're not looking up towards the ceiling, you want a slight tuck of the chin. So feet are, are hip width apart and knees are as well. So no, no knocking knees. <laughs> and your back is just relaxed at the moment. There might be a bit of space under it. So what we're going to do, we're going to start by taking a breath in, let, letting the tummy expand. And as we breathe out, we're going to pull that navel towards the spine and just encourage the back to imprint into the mat and breathe in and breathe out. So you're imprinting now and then you're going to release it as you breathe in and breathe out. And then you're going to just take the breath back to normal and just let the back do what it wants to do. So it might be slightly lifted. So in this position, we're going to firstly come up into what's called tabletop. So bringing one knee up and the other one. Back is now just imprinting into the mat. We want to keep that going, keep that position, I mean. And then we're going to just slowly tap down and we breathe out and in. Should feel it working here. Keep that back imprinted. It's quite hard to do that, isn't it? You know, especially the slower that you go. So if we go slowly, even slower. So much harder to do. So we'll do one more on each side. Just that little bit slower. And then bring the knees into the chest. So that's, I always find it's a really nice release. And then we'll bring feet down one at a time. So we're back in what we call crook position. Feet are hip width apart. Then we're going to take the arms up. So the back's still imprinted at the moment, taking the arms behind to our rib cage closure to wherever you feel comfortable with. Come back towards the ceiling, keep the chin slightly tucked and stretch. We'll do one more after this one. Bring the arms, the elbows out. Just take that out of the way. This is a little bit of rotator cuff. It's the, the muscles behind the shoulders. So just taking the feet forearm back, which for that side for me is more difficult. And then the other side, which is quite easy on this side. You might not be able to get all the way to the floor, obviously. So don't worry about that. I think 
what we're going to do after this next one. I'll do a little bit of ab work and then some glute work. So bring the arms in, bring them down onto your mat. So obviously toe taps was, we're starting to work the abs. What we'll do now is um, let's try and think. Uh, let's let's just bring the feet in. And the knees are out. We call frogs legs. So we're going to bring the knees in as you stretch away, breathing out, and then breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. And always as you're breathing out, you're pulling the navel towards the spine. Helping to contract the abdominals, protect the back. And click up to a lifted position. I always support my neck because it just needs it. We'll just do one more now. Click your knees and come back down. Bring the knees into the chest. We do a little bit of single leg stretch. So bringing that one knee in and then transferring over. I like to do it in lifted position. So if you can keep your head down, if you want to. Okay, one more. Bring the feet in, bring the head down. Just rest there for a second. While I think about the next move, I'm not going to do double leg stretch yet because we've just done frog's legs. So bring one foot down and then the other. And we'll go into a little bit of bridge work. So I just always bring my feet a little bit closer to my bottom to do that. Feet are still hip width. So now what we really concentrate on, squeeze the glutes. So squeeze the glutes, come up to a, a lifted position and then just roll back down through each vertebrae. I always prefer to take anything that's on the, supporting my head or belly, feels more comfortable. But to do this, to do this bridge, you want to really squeeze the glutes because if you don't, you'll end up going up like that, using your back. And I've seen so many pictures of people in that position, it's completely wrong, it's so, so good for you. So it's squeeze the glutes, you're only going to come up a little bit and roll back down. And we hold it when we get up, so squeeze, hold that position. I like to put my hands on my hips just so I know I'm staying up there. Let, let's do, um, just let one side come down, so you let the glute just go floppy, and then squeeze it back up, and the other side, and then squeeze, back to the other side, and then squeeze, and that's it, and squeeze. And let's roll back down through each vertebrae, relax there and then squeeze glutes again come all the way up right let's do some heel lifts and if you can toes lifting up heels and turn so the main thing is keeping this lifted so to do that if you if you don't squeeze the glutes you're just going to do that so just squeeze them back and hold that position How's it going? <laughs> okay, get ready to bring the, the feet back down. And we do another roll back down through the vertebrae. Let's just straighten each leg, stretching. Then we're going to bring the knees in, feet together, knees together, going to push out the double leg stretch and come back in. So you can stay with your head down or stay lifted or come up to lift it belly. Breathe out, breathe in. Keep 
can get to a slightly harder position. I can do this, but it's just my neck. <laughs> the last one. And then just gently come back down. Oh, forgot my block. Okay, and then keep the knees in. We're going to roll up into seated position or however you want to come up. Okay, so shall we do a little bit of side work for the glutes? We're going to come down, stretch the arm out, and we do it on timer, okay? So let's start with I have one of my favourites, just the straight leg circles. So the other knee is bent, just keeping you in a good position. We've got a little lift under the waist and we're going to circle that leg. So we're trying to keep the hip stable. So we're not going backwards, which is quite easy to do. And keep the keep circle small if you find that you can't um, stay in position. Let's change direction. <laughs> okay, after this one, bring it back down, bring the knees in. So I would like to do, oh, lift the feet and we're going to go open and close, open and close. And we're going to just do three of those and then we're going to add to it, or we can keep it at that one. So if it feels okay, straighten back to open and close, or you can just keep it as an open and close if that feels better. Oh, we'll go for one more. I'll let you do that because that's getting into my back today and bring the legs down. Okay, next thing we're going to do is knee to knee, toes to toes. is a good one isn't it? it suddenly feels really tough let's just do one more you've got to leave you feeling like you've done something and then just pat that leg leg pat, pat that glute <laughs> it is a leg really it's underneath okay and then remember what i've done <laughs> keep the legs straight Point the foot down slightly, take it back a little, and we just do a lift and lower. So we're just really targeting the glutes. Last one. Okay, and feel free to give yourself a little pat in the glutes. <laughs> and then Coming up, and we change over to the other side. So you can always feel that, can't you, when you <laughs> when you move over? That. Oh yes, I've done something today. Okay, so let's do the other side. So we're starting off with the leg circle. Got a little lift under the waist. So we're really stretching that leg away. And we're going to change direction. Brilliant, okay, bring that leg down into clam position. 
we're going to do three basic clam. So you open and you close and you're just trying to target glutes. And then you're going to open, straighten, back to open, close. So I think we did about three of those. So we'll do one more for luck, just in case we did a bit more. Okay. And then I just like a bit of a stretch before I get ready to do knee to knee, toes to toes. I think we did quite a few of these. We'll do one more. Bring that leg down. Whew. Feel that. Now we're stretching that leg away. I'm going to flex the foot slightly, point it down, take it back a bit, and we're going to lift and lower. Last one. Brilliant. Well done. Give yourselves a pat on the, on the glutes just to release it off. And then we'll come on to our front to finish off. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring the hands out to the side and we're going to lift the whole body slowly up. So you're pulling in through the abdominals. We're going to come back, stretch into the lower back. And then you're going to hover, bend the elbows behind you, coming down, which is quite difficult, and then back up again. So it's like a reverse push up, working into the shoulders and the triceps. And down. Then we're going to come back up. This is now coming into our shell stretch or child's pose, whatever you want to call it. So bringing the knees out quite wide, we're going to just stretch back to whatever feels comfortable. And then we're going to just take the hands over to one side. Well, let's say it's right, you're going to stretch that left arm a little bit more. So it's stretched down the side of the body. And then back into the middle and over to the other side. And back into the middle, coming up slowly. Well, there you go. I'm just going to have a quick look and see. Yeah. So, what we're going to do here, we're going to, if you can, we're going to sit in this position cross-legged, if not, just sit however, well actually the other way to do it is to take the legs out like that, just for us to lean knee forwards. So this one sort of targets the glutes a bit more and then we're just going to just come forwards just slightly, but rather than rounding the back off, just trying to stretch forwards. And then as you breathe, you might be able to go a little bit deeper. Last breath. And then when you're ready, just slowly coming back up. And we're gonna roll roll the shoulders and then we just squeeze up and then let it all release that's what we need lots of re relaxation into the shoulders <laughs> and we're going to take the arms out we're going to take a breath in and out and in again and out Thank you very much. <laughs> Wonderful. Well
well. Have a brilliant Christmas and I will see you in January. Happy New Year.